Slap tears are quite common, and we've just learned one examination uh, in terms of trying to rule out the presence of a slap tear. There are many different examinations to try to prove the presence of a, a slap tear. I'm going to walk you through a number of them. Probably the most popular is one called uh, the O'Brien's test. It was developed by Steve O'Brien. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll, ab we'll adduct the arm, bring him in a crossover position with his thumb down. Now I'm going to have him resist his, resist his hand, so I'm going to push it down. If that exacerbates his pain, that would be considered a positive O'Brien's test. An adjunct to that is what we call a slap rehension test. And if he puts his thumb straight up and down, again resisting going inferiorly, and that actually it feels better, made worse with this O'Brien's test, that would be a positive slap rehension test, which is also positive for a uh, superior labral tear. The uh, faculty and uh, uh, doctors at the Mayo Clinic developed a thing called a Mayo shear test. And since most of these uh, uh, athletes are overhead throwing athletes that develop this uh, slap tear, what you can do is you put them in this abducted position and you basically crank and shear their shoulder abducted all the way backwards and bring them down. If that exacerbates their pain and you feel a pop or pain at the same time, that would be consistent with a slap tear. James Andrews, one of the most famous orthopedic uh, uh, surgeons, takes care of baseball players a lot. He developed another test for a slap tear. Again, we put this baseball player or an athlete in this abducted external rotated throwing position and I'm going to actually have him resist throwing forward if that exacerbates his pain, it's also a consistent finding of a slap tear. One of my favorite t uh, uh, tests for slap tears is actually a series called Biceps Provocation. These were actually developed by Dr. Kim in uh, South Korea. And what he actually has suggested is, again, we're going to put our arm up into this abducted, external rotated, baseball throwing position. And I put him in that position until he starts, says, yes, it's starting to have pain. Then I'll have him walk like an Egyptian or actually pronate his hand. This puts the bicep at length and pulls on the slap tear. If that exacerbates his pain, that would be a positive sign for a slap tear. The other biceps provocation test is I'm going to have him actually take his hand to his head and as he flexes his biceps, he pulls on the biceps tendon. If that exacerbates his pain, it would also be a finding consistent with a biceps tear. A couple of other tests. Uh, one that I think that is a little bit less specific, but clearly will tell us that we have some intraarticular pathology inside the shoulder, is simply a load and shift test, where I'll, I'll take the shoulder and I'll manipulate it backwards and forwards. If I feel a clunk or a pop, I know something is torn inside the shoulder. You can also do a crank test, which basically you take the shoulder and you use it basically as a crank, and you try to catch anything that's torn, whether it's a, a bank heart lesion, a le superior labral lesion, as we come all the way around in this position, if we can feel clicking or popping and it exacerbates their pain, then that would be consistent with a slap tear. The last, the last slap examination was developed by Frank Job. He uh, uh, worked with the uh, Los Angeles Dodgers for many years. It's called a Job relocation test. And I'm going to have you lay on your back. And in this position, basically we're going to do the same thing that we've done before with uh, putting a baseball player in an abducted external rotated position. And for a slap tear, this position is actually going to exacerbate pain, not instability. They'll say it hurts. And then as I relocate him backwards, the pain actually will go away. If that was the case, then that would be another finding that was consistent with a slap tear. So I've just walked you through an extensive uh, group of tests that you can do for a slap tear uh, in the shoulder. I think probably from an evidence-based perspective, the series by Jed Kuhn is the best way to rule out a slap tear. Uh, and if you, have, if you have one or two of those positive tests that, uh, that he suggested, then an MR arthrogram might be indicated. Personally, in my office, I actually do seven or eight of those tests on everybody. My favorite being O'Brien's, slap prehension, and the KIM-1 and KIM-2 tests. Those tests, uh, if they're positive, I have a very high degree of suspicion uh, for a uh, slap tear. If I can get four or five tests that are positive, uh, despite having some of the others being negative, I'm pretty sure that they have a slap tear. Uh, I will get an MR arthrogram to prove the diagnosis, and they probably need surgery to repair the slap.